I know, all right, I know exactly what you're all gonna be saying. Really, Satch, another video with best weapon or most broken, most overpowered weapon in the title and, uh, uh yeah, D yeah. <laughs> I have no defense for that because every single time I upload one of these videos There's a bunch of people in the comments who are like well actually this is the best weapon in the game So we then just end up in this never-ending cycle and today we are looking at the karambit Apparently this thing is better than the tonfa don't know how much I believe that but that's why we're here because today We are obviously going to be testing out the karambit. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it All right as per usual Get me juiced up on all these goodies, and we're just gonna be heading straight into tier two. There is not a single tier two bounty contract. That is sick. There's actually like four contracts in the entire area. Super, super sound. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hopefully at least one spawns in by the time I get there. All right, this is like the first real test. Bounty in hand, zombie chasing me. I Can we put the phone away quicker, please? Jesus Christ. I will say the Krambit, I've killed a couple of zombies. The Krambit definitely does the, uh, the zombie killing part a lot better, which is a, a big plus. But I haven't killed any elites yet, so who knows if it's going to be better in that department. But our bounty is all the way over the other side of the bridge. Get me in my rad, and hopefully... Hopefully, this is gonna be a good day for us. I think I was taking out tier two HVTs in like three or four hits with a level two rare pa uh, purple a pack a punch purple rarity. I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> but basically the same level weapon I have with the tonfa, I was taking them out in like three or four hits. So if the karambit can do anything anywhere near as like quickly as that, we're gonna have an incredible day. But where the hell is this mimic? But like tier two zombies are just dead in one hit. The tonfa couldn't do that. Okay, yeah, so the Karambit definitely, definitely not the weapon for HVTs. Okay, so, okay, okay, so the, I, I understand, I understand where we're at now with melee weapons. The, the Karambit is the zombie killer, the Tonfa is the elite killer. I, I'm getting it now. Ooh, I am, I am understanding the assignments now. <laughs> I know what these weapons are capable of. So this is gonna be a long ass day for me, I can guarantee it. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm still gonna try and get this thing to tier three pack a punch. We're gonna take on some level three bounties in the high tier zone. Of course I'm doing that stuff. First things first, I do need to get 15,000 points. Yeah, like look at it, this thing just has absolutely no problem killing zombies like if you want a zombie killer this is your weapon like it does it, it's, it's effortless <laughs> like literally effortless zombies can't hit you you take them down in one hit the, the the melee speed as well is pretty damn quick so you can just like full-on just tear your way through pretty decently sized crowds of zombies i mean obviously the zombies aren't spawning in as quickly for me just yet dogs go down easily regular zombies go down easily armored zombies are going down easily i will i do want to know how it's like against like the heavy armored zombies we've only taken on light armored zombies so far like look at it it just it kills them it just it just does its job really really well I, I do hear as well i do hear a mangler so that will be first elite of the day i do want to see how this fares against like regular elites because i do think i do think um hvts especially tier three hvts could be a challenge for us where is this mangler though i actually don't know I still hate fighting dogs. Like, death. Like, ugh, I hate them so much. Why are they so annoying? Go away. Where's this mangler? I'm. I just want to fight the mangler. Let me punch the mangler in the face. Okay, so regular elites. Regular elites don't stand a chance. They they just don't stand a chance. The, oh, that's cute. Mimic. Yeah, nah. I don't think so. I just. I don't think so. Regular elites. Pfft, nah. It's actually wild. It just goes up to them. You hit them three times and it's dead. <laughs> like, this, this is this is gonna be a fun day. Oh, melee weapons might actually be the play in this game. Tonfa, Karambit, if that's the combo. If you've got, like, a bunch of refined crystals and, like, ether tools, just load up Karambit, Tonfa, go into a game, and you're gonna abuse everything. You've got your zombie killer <laughs> in the Karambit, and you've then got your HVT elite killer in the Tonfa. You will be the most feared person in the lobby. <laughs> Zombies will not dare fight you. They're just, you're gonna kill everything effortlessly. So this is, this is gonna, this is, yeah. <laughs> melee weapons are the play. Oh, there's, that's ridiculous. Oh, it's ridiculous. Like, melee weapons were powerful in Cold War, 
though. Like, there was a few standouts. I know a lot of people liked the Psy. My personal favorite was the E-Tool. There was another one. I think, like, the Hammer and Sickle was pretty good. There's probably, like, one or two more in there that were, like, decent. Like, they all dealt the same damage, right? They all dealt the 62,500 damage. So they were one hit, past health cap, no matter what, right? They did pretty well against the elites. But, like, the main thing that, like, det that, like separated all of the, the melee weapons of that game was how fast you could, like, hit things. Like, the actual attack speed, right? That was, like, the main separating factor. <laughs> Whereas in this game, it seems like damage is the main, like, uh, difference between them. But, like, my god. <laughs> they're, they're still, they're insane. Like, I've used three melee weapons so far. One being... Okay. 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 I, do, I was not expecting him to die that quickly. I, oh. <laughs> As I was saying, I've used three melee weapons so far in this game. One being the Tonfa, the Krambit, and the, the, the Riot Shield. The Riot Shield is absolute garbage <laughs> in terms of fighting things. Pretty good at protecting you, garbage at fighting things. But, like, the uh, the, the, the other two melee weapons, the Tonfa and the Karambit, are are winners. Are absolute killers. All right, now we're at 11,000 points. That is a pretty nice point tally so far. One more contract gets me up to about 14k, alright? We then need, probably need like one or two more bounties, because I do want to get quick revive and stamina up. You know, they are like two pretty good, uh, pretty like necessity uh, perks if it was like in this game. God, melee weapons still suck though at taking down these guys. Like, actually just trash. How am I taking down HVTs in like two seconds and then some dork with a gun and like a little armor plate is tanking like knives to the face and whatever and then just absolutely shredding me when they get a chance. So we got a Mimic. So the Mimic, the first Mimic HVT we took down, it did take quite a little bit of effort. The Mangler went down like like a sack of potatoes. He just he just fell over and died. The Mimics do seem to be a little uh, tougher, though. Although I will gladly just allow a team to kill all of my bounties for me. And just, I, I you know, I don't need to do anything. <laughs> so thanks, I guess. Uh, they're actually killing the wrong guy. They killed mine and I killed theirs. So thanks. <laughs> Imagine needing three of you to kill a HVT. Uh, could be me. I'm sorry, it's mean. I'm gonna steal that car, though, if I can. No, I'm not. There's is actually trashed. <laughs> I don't want that. Okay, bounty, bounty, bounty. Do I? I need plates. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna do this. We do the, we do a second weapon safe thing. Hopefully we get some plates. We got some more cheddar. I'm actually gonna get even more cheddar because I gotta kill zombies. Hopefully by the end of this, I'll be sitting pretty on like almost 20k. We can get that tier three back bunch. I can get a couple extra perks, and then we can just be all groovy and go and have a little bit of fun in the tier three zone. The only thing I will say, it's tracking like it's locking on and whatever and like when it comes to like the dogs little suspect it doesn't do a very good job at like locking onto them and hitting them very well i will say that that's kind of like the only downside also the fighter does do uh, a lot less damage to hvts and whatever than i was thinking it would it can't just it can't destroy everything you know that would be a little bit too unfair <laughs> on like the economy of the weapons in this game but it would be very fair for my well-being and mental health because the more easier my job is <laughs> the happier i am mainly because the more fun I have, because, like, let's be honest, who doesn't just love running around and being able to bully things in video games, right? Like, it's, you know, you would absolutely take the most powerful weapons in the game if you could every single time. Why? Because it's fun. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Being able to be, like, being the boss enemy is fun. Find I'm not gonna lie, I almost accidentally left the game then, and my heart stopped for like half a second. <laughs> I'm not gonna- I came very close to just accidentally just like, leaving. I would have been very sad if I did that then. Jesus Christ. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Hopefully, as well, the pack punches by the Wonder Fizz machine. I don't think it is, though. I actually don't see it. Oh no, it's right in the middle of the square. See it. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I, I am very confident that the Karamba is just gonna like, protect me and kill everything. So like, I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. Unless it's a mega abomination, then I might be like a little bit worried. <laughs> All right, there we go. Tier three pack a punch karambit. All the zombies in the world chasing me down, and it doesn't one hit them. Okay, it does one hit regular zombies, but it's a two hit to armored zombies. I think I would like to shield up, please, game. I went down. Did I go down? No, I didn't. I proned. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Yeah, so like what? Tier armored zombies in the tier three zone are going down in two hits. Regular zombies are going down in one hit. So that's, you know, that's fair, I guess. That's fine. I can, I can deal with not being the most powerful, I guess. 
Not going to deflate my ego at all. Okay, so every armored zombie, no matter what, is a two hit. So that I actually am a bit of a fan of. So it's like light armored zombies and heavily armored zombies are both going down just as quick as one another. That I like. That I like a lot. Uh, where's this buy station though? Is it up or down on the bridge? <gasps> Mega abomination. Do I fight it? Possibly. I do want to try and buy some plates though. Ooh, mangler. Okay, yeah. Tier 3 mangler. Pack a fully pack punch weapon. It's taking a little longer to kill him. I will give it that. I will say that. Alright, we're going to throw decoy down. How are we doing against this guy? How are we doing against this guy? I can't even hit him. Like, I, I generally don't think I can hit him. Like, straight up, I don't think I'm hitting him. Have I got to, like, jump? What's going on? I can't hit him. <laughs> I, I genuinely cannot hit him. There are so many zombies. Oh, my God. Okay, I I don't know if I was hitting that Mega Abomination then. I don't think I was. That is that is worrying. That is worrying. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Fighting big crowds yet again, though, with a melee weapon. Still not it. Still not the play. Ow. Okay, game. Let me out of here. I'm gonna die because of goddamn... I, I, why does it have to stun you, man? There's no need for that to stun you the way it does. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah, so this definitely not as good a weapon as I was hoping in terms of, like, being a boss killer. But, like, still very powerful. Don't get me wrong. I also just wish all these zombies could do one whilst I try and see how good my weapon is. Yeah, okay. It does an awful job at killing the HVTs and whatever in this area. This is not the weapon for HVT killing. You lied to me. <laughs> the ton for clears. I don't care if it's good at killing regular zombies. I want a, I want a weapon that's going to bully HVTs. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's probably the best zombie killer in the game. Like, it's going to just kill zombies effortlessly. But, like, if you want to kill HVTs and Mega Abominations and Disciples, ton for is the play. Tonfa is the play. Karambit. In terms of HVTs, it's kind of mid. It's it's kind of mid. Although, I guess in terms of like regular HVTs, so mimics, manglers, it's it's not that mid. But I'm still I'm not taking this into a fight to take on uh, take on a mega abomination. Not a chance. Like it it dealt with him pretty well. Don't get me wrong. God, that was actually actually do you know what? No, I was gonna say that was trash rewards, but <laughs> considering I do kind of need a self res, I'll take it. Still think this game could benefit from like an Ethereum Razor. Like, just mainly because I want it back. <laughs> I love that perk. And I will keep fighting for it. But like, Disciple. It, it does a decent job against him when you can actually hit him. <laughs> but uh, Mega Abominations, it does not like fighting them. But Manglers, it does like fighting. This is a weird weapon, man. Like, it's powerful. But, like, it does struggle against some of the bigger enemies. And you are going to get hit a lot. Like, you're just gonna, you're just going to get b abused. So if you are going to use this, make sure you have plenty of plates. Plenty of points to buy plates. Because you're not going to have them for long. But, like, yeah, it does not, it does not enjoy... Well, maybe, I don't know. I can't really tell. It's not, yeah, it's not the weapon for me when it comes to fighting these guys. Definitely not. Yeah, it's just not good at taking down HVTs. It just isn't. What's this gonna pot give me now? What's this be a goddamn mega abomination? A disciple, do you know what? I don't mind that. I'm gonna die, because you just get abused by zombies. This this weapon definitely does not give me the confidence that I had when I was using the Tonfa. Definitely not. It's, it is a very good weapon, don't get me wrong. Like, if this is more your style, I'm not gonna tell you not to use it, but it's definitely not for me. I, I am, I think I'm definitely gonna be more of a Tonfa fanboy. I would rather, I would rather use, like, the, I don't know, like, the tier and the Tonfa. I don't know, I guess, the Tonfa and this. If you want, like, a zombie killer and then like a boss killer right, how does it do against you though uh it doesn't do great it doesn't do great at all it doesn't do great at all at all actually like it does pretty pathetically oh my god and see this is now the other issue i now have 700 zombies chasing me and i'm gonna lose like it's just uh, i don't like this gun i don't like this weapon i'm sorry I, it, like i can admit it's good but i don't like it yeah like it just it's oh my god and I also hate this... I also just hate the way this game locks on to whatever the hell it wants. Rather than, like, what you're actually looking at <laughs> when you're trying to melee things. Because it's just it's just not it. It's just not it. This, I don't like the Karambit. I don't like the Karambit. I don't like the Karambit. I think it kind of sucks. You're all wrong. The taunt for clears. You're all just wrong. I don't know if some dork's gonna be like, Oh, you're using it wrong. I don't care. <laughs> I want to punch... 
big guys with my weapons that are so called the best in the game. It isn't the best in the game if it can't kill HVTs. End of. I don't care. I mean, it can kill HVTs. It's just going to get you killed along the way. Like, if you want a HVT killer, like, this is probably going to top out in the tier 2 zone. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. If you have like a mangler or a mimic like HVT in the tier 3 zone, it will do a very good job of killing those. But if you have a disciple or a mega abomination, uh, good luck. <laughs> That's all I can say. Good luck. You're, you're not going to have a fun time trying to kill those. It's as simple as that. But anything else, it will do a job. Like, zombie killing, 10 out of 10. Like, genuinely, 10 out of 10. HVT killing, like... A four out of ten. <laughs> like it's just not great. It's just it's it's very good at one thing. It is it's it's literally the polar opposite of the Tonfa. Like I for one want a weapon that can comfortably take down any HVT in the game and also do a pretty decent job at killing zombies. The Tonfa does a pretty decent job at killing zombies. It's a little slow, yes, but it can do the job. Whereas, and then obviously does an incredible job at taking down HVTs. Whereas this does like an incredible job at taking down zombies. And then just like a pretty mediocre job at taking down HVTs, in my opinion. You know, like there's, there's definitely better weapons for the job. But I'm not going to deny it. It can kill regular zombies very easily. Like the Tonfa. Oh God. The Tonfa would struggle at this point, you know. Tier 2 zombies in, an, in like a, an exfil zone, the Tonfa would struggle at killing zombies as easily as what this is. But then, <laughs> the Tonfa can also take down a HVT Mega Abomination in like 10 seconds flat. So, you know, pick your poison, I guess. Which one do you want? I do still absolutely despise the melee lunge in this game. Like, there's no way of like getting around it like you can in other games. It just, it just happens, and it sucks. <laughs> yeah, Karambit, yeah, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. You know, I'd give it like... No, I wouldn't. I'd be, I'm going to be harsh. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 10. <laughs> Tonfa, Tear, Longbow, Crossbow, all the other so-called OP guns in the game are just... They're, they're better. They're just better. They're just better. <laughs> but with that, if you do want to go use it, I'm not going to stop you. Don't let my distaste for this weapon put you off using it if you want to use it it is a lot of fun at just killing regular zombies i will give it that but uh yeah it's not a, it's not a hvt killer <laughs> and with that my name has been zatch thank you very much for watching drop a like on the video let me know what other weapons you want to see me test out in modern warfare 3 zombies and as always i will see you in the next one